Hey guys, look on to RickLandArden.com and of course the house of biceps. All right, I'm out here training tonight. It is uh, way deep into the 60 degree temperature level. So I've got on multi layers, trying not to get the flus. Uh, I've got a good friend, a very good friend of mine, an old client of mine that's having some issues. Um, watched his box squat the other day and I noticed that his right arm is kicked back uh, and it's in a position to where it, 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 he's having to physically force it to get down into a decent position whenever he's doing squats. Uh, and he raised up a pretty interesting question. His question to me was what kind of mobility stuff do I need to be doing? What kind of stretches do I need to be doing uh, on a regular basis <clears throat> to get that elbow down, to get more mobility <clears throat> excuse me, and movement into that right arm, that right shoulder elbow area uh, in order to get that arm down so I can squat better. And honestly, my whole idea is coming from, you know, a, a beat up uh, background of, you know, more than a decade of fighting uh, to power building, to strong man, power lifting, and then into weightlifting, uh, back to power lifting and strong man again. Um, you know, the more I got involved in weightlifting, the more people told me, you've got to stretch, you have to do this and uh, enforce the stretch and, and just keep pushing harder and harder and harder. Um, and to be quite honest, the more stretching that I did, the more sore that I got, the more that I hurt, uh, the more mobility work that I did, the more difficult it was to recover from. Uh, so the one thing I did, I really stopped stretching, at least anything beyond just natural movement stretching uh, and I stopped pretty much all mobility work because I couldn't recover from it. Let me show you what I did start doing. I keep this old forklift tire sitting out by the gym. Uh, it's always handy, always ready. Uh, I don't use a sled. I use this tire and I just go for walks. Uh, it's good GPP and it's great warm up just to get the body moving. What I will do is I take this little spud ink thing here. I don't even know what this thing is. There's lots of places where I can load stuff in different sections, chains, small children, whatever. Uh, tons of handy uses. Um, and I've got one of these little hooks that nobody can seem to pronounce correctly, so I won't even attempt it. And I just hook it on to that tire. And then I've got the long ab strap, again from Spud Ink. Um, and I will take this, go around my waist, use the carabiner or this little hook that I'm saying wrong, took it around me just like a belt, and I'm just going to go for a walk. Let me show you what I do. All right, Matt, obviously your mileage may vary. Uh, you may choose a couple other options that I don't normally do. Uh, different hat, different pants, different shirt, uh, that sort of thing. But these are the exercises that I normally do. I normally keep my timer with me and I'll set a timer for anywhere between 10 and 20 minutes and I'll just go for a walk. Nice little area around here. The sidewalk is actually much more difficult for me to walk on than this rock is here uh, by my gym. I'll go down to the church 
up to the school, a couple different areas. Uh, and the point is just to walk and to move. Uh, the exercise I did at the end with my hands behind my head and elbows going in and out, it's probably the most important for me. But when I begin my 10 to 20 minute walk, I can't do that. It's difficult to get my hands behind my head, but the more that I move my body, uh, the more that everything starts to loosen up. Have to loosen up my rear delts with the face pulls, with the rows, uh, with the crossovers, with the rear delts. Uh, sometimes I have to do a good two or three minutes of walking tricep extensions uh, before I'm, or you know, chest presses before I'm actually able to get my hands behind my head. I'll make one or two runs just walking with my hands behind my head. Um, and then I try to flex those elbows in and out opens up my rear delts, my elbows, my shoulders, my pecs, my upper back. And now I'm ready to go squat. Most importantly, Bob Seeger Live is on. You know, Matt, hope this helps you. Hope this helps somebody else. Let's get to squatting.